Why do you think they don't serve? What's your name? Sean. Why they don't serve in churches? Give me a uh, first bag of beans after three months, four days. This is what they portray, right? Did you know that's in the Bible? They was gonna change his image. Did you know that? Let me show you, real quick. Breathe. This is the book of First Maccabees, chapter three, verse forty-eight, and laid open the book of the law. So what's the book of the law? The Bible, right? You're in the spirit, right? Read. Wherein the heathen has sought to paint the likeness of their images. So the heathen, you know who the heathen are? The so-called white man. That's the heathen. The Arabs, those are the heathen. We are God's chosen people. That's right. We are the 12 tribes of Israel. All of these right here on that last side, these are all our brothers and sisters. Good. So the so-called Mexicans, those are our brothers and sisters. The Puerto Ricans, those are our brothers and sisters. But they've opened up the book. Read that again. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen have sought to paint the likeness of their images. The heathen sought to paint the likeness of their images. You know why they did that? Yes, sir. Because they wanted us to see them as God. You got any questions? Right, so if they made themselves look like God, it would be easy for them to overcome and dominate us because we would be thinking that we are actually hurting God. You understand? You see that? That is important. The imagery is important. Did you know the Israelites, the people in the Bible? You know Moses was black? You know, so you know everybody was black in the Bible. All right, let me ask you a question. So you know that you're Israelite? You know you're Israelite? Let me show you about the Bible, that this Bible is talking about us. You familiar with history? Hey, sister, sister. Are you familiar with history? You familiar with this history right here, son? You know about the slave ships and us being on slave ships? This happened to us. This is documented history. So read that. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses so come upon thee and overtake thee. So God said, if you do not observe and do all of my rules, obey my rules, all these curses are going to come upon you. What is a curse? You know what a curse is? A disease? That could be a curse. What else? Uh, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? So if I say I'm going to curse you, you don't want nobody to curse you, right? These are the curses that God said he was going to put on us. So when your, you got parents, when your parents tell you to do something, right? You don't listen to what they say, they, they punish you, right? God is punishing us for disobeying his rules. That's, right. That's what's going on. That's why gun violence happened in Chicago rampant, right? Every time you turn the news, you see babies get shot. Young men get shot. You turn five people shot here, seven people shot at a house party. People being carjacked. All this stuff is going on, drugs being sold, people hold in, women killing their babies. This is a curse that we under right now. Son, hey. you need to hear this, bro. Tell me, this is talking about you right here. You have to see yourself as having the greatest history on this earth. We have the greatest history on earth, man. And we got to acknowledge that. And we need to know, because when we read this Bible, we don't see ourselves in this Bible. Because if we did, we would act differently. We would treat each other differently. But we don't see each other in the Bible. Hey. Read, verse 16. I want to ask, I got another question for you. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Do you think the so-called blacks are cursed in this city? Why you say that? We can't do anything white people do. What else, what else though? What you got? What's the word? Yeah. It's what? I can't hear you. You want the what? Say what's on your mind, young man. I'll, I'll come to your house it's too much death, right? 
Uh, All this death is going on. It's not normal. It's not normal to know people that have been shot. It's not normal to know people that have been put to death that been sh that's in jail. All these things is not normal. We normalize all of this stuff that's going on in our neighborhood, but it's not normal. So we have to realize that we are underneath the curse that says, read that again. Curse shall thou be in the city. We are cursed in the city of Chicago. We are cursed. When you get behind the police, when the police get behind you, are you, do you feel good or you feel, are you nervous? What? You don't even got to have that to know and you nervous. That's a curse. That's going into us being cursed as a people in this city. Okay? Read. Cursed shall not be in the field. So, do you know another people that was cursed in the field? What was we cursed in the field, sis? Cursed in the field. Showing you right here, we had to pick cotton. We had to pick in the... That's one of the curses. We had to pick in the cotton fields. That's one of our curses. Of many of our curses, because guess what? In the field today, the field is the workplace, right? That's where we all work at. Who got the lowest paid jobs? Black folks. Black people have the lowest paid jobs. This is a curse. The, the world was made for us. You, you believe that? The world was made for us. Did you know that? The, give, me, give me that a second. The whole world, this earth, this earth was made for us. That's right. Believe it or not, this earth was made for a particular group of people. And I'm about to show you out the Bible. It's the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 6, verse 53. Upon 54, after thee and after this, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. Who did the people that God chose? You know that? Who did God choose? It's a, it's a particular, the Bible says exactly who they are. Give me, hold that. Give me Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 1. That, this is the apocrypha right here. These are the books they took out the Bible. They took these books out of the Bible. Read. The book of Isaiah chapter 44. Verse 1. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. It says, Israel. Sis, what's your name again? Cynthia. Israel, whom I have chosen. God chosen Israel. So that's who is chosen. He didn't choose everybody. Right? So go back to. So that's who God's chosen. So God's chosen is Israel. Read. Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. So we all come from Adam. Everybody on this planet come from Adam, right? Read. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. But God chose a particular group of people. Who was that? Cynthia? Who did he choose? Israel. Israel, read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because... Thou madest the world for our sake. You heard that? Read that again. Because thou madest the world for our sake. For whose sake? Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. That's who God made this whole world for. Hey, brother, come here for a second. I got a question. Just give me one minute. One minute. Who did God made the world for? Come here, let me show you. Don't you want to know? Do you want to know who God made the world for? Israel. You say what? You only believe it for you and me. Hey, brother. I got a question for you. Brother in the green shirt. Who did God make the, the, the earth for? Read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. So he made the world for our sake, Cynthia. Read. As for the other people. As, guess what? You hear that? For the other people, read, it's about to tell you about those other people, read. Which also come from Adam. Which also come from Adam, read. Thou hast said that they are nothing. Thou hast said that they are nothing. That's what God said. You heard? You never heard that before, though, have you? You ever heard that? That's in the Bible. That's in the Bible. God made the world for us, and everybody else is nothing. Hey, brother, 
Quick question. I'm good, man, but thank you, though, bro. All right. Hey, I like brother, you got to get in tune. We, everybody always going, walking by, and don't have time to be able to hear the word of God. Bring it out. That's not... Y'all have to make time for God. If you don't make time for God, you are going to be put to death. This is the time. Give me Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. Get that from me. Because I want to show this is the time right now for us to be able to get out of the condition we're in. We have to repent. We have to come back to God laws. Read. This is the book of Romans chapter 13 verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now is, is high time. You hear that? It's, this is the time right now. It's high time. It's past time, sis. This is the time. Don't you see what's going on in the world? Don't you think this is the time right now? The time. This is the time where you got to really get into this Bible and see what's going on. Because we've been lied to by the, the churches, the pastors. All the people are lying to us. They do not know or want to tell us the truth of this Bible. You are God's chosen people. You are an Israelite, according to the Bible. We lost our nationality in slavery. Now we are trying to go out here to the, the four corners and teach the people who they are so they can come back to God's law. Because don't, do we not need to be saved as a people? Let me ask you, oh, let me ask you a question. Is, did Christ come to save everybody? But, but, me, but he came to, to save a particular group of people. Give me Luke chapter 1 verse 68 because I want to show you out of the Bible who Christ came for and what is the whole plan, the scheme of what's supposed to happen because we have no military might, right? We have no financial might. We have nothing. We at the bottom of society. We are second class citizens. Because when we get shot down, nobody does jail time. When all the murders happen in Chicago, they got cameras all around here. I seen a video one day, a brother shot somebody. They showed his whole route on different cameras in the city of Chicago. You know what they can solve all these crimes? They won't because we are second class citizens. Hey, but listen, come here, come here. Let me, you gonna finish? Let's, let's finish down long. Just one more thing. Just give me a couple minutes of your time. You love God, yo. Give me a couple minutes. That's all I'm asking for. All right, give me that. Come on, make a round. Come on, come on around. What you got? This is the book of St. Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. You heard that? The God of who? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. You hear that? Did y'all know that it's the God of Israel? He's not the God of everybody. That's what you got. That's the first thing that we got to get in our mind. That we are God's chosen people and he is not the God of everybody. That's why we are persecuted more than everybody else because we didn't listen to God's commandments. That's why. He's not the God of everybody. Read. For he has visited and redeem his people. His people. He's coming to redeem his people. That's just like Moses redeemed his people. Christ is going to come and redeem his people. Not everybody. Read. And has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. And he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies. Read that again. That we should be saved from our enemies. Do we got enemies? Yes. Who is our enemies? What? Uh, no, no, no. It says that we shall be saved from our enemies. Who is our enemies? Who is our enemies? I say No, it's actual people. You're talking about people that's our enemies, not uh other things are talking about the people that's our enemies. And we should be saved from our enemies. Who is our enemies? Who did this to us? What type of people? White people, right? Arab people. Chinese people. They did this to us. So these are our enemies. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark.
Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.